Autonomous robots are now helping to deliver online shopping and groceries in Singapore. About 700 households in Pungal can get these sent straight to their lift lobbies as part of a one-year trial. It's part of the country's efforts to go digital and bring innovation right into the neighbourhood. Gwyneth Teo takes a closer look. Carrying groceries back home can be quite a chore. But these robots have been lending a hand to some residents in Pongol as part of a trial. All they need to do is book a half-hour time slot for their goods to be delivered right to their blocks. One resident who's tried it out says it saves much time. My muscle strength is not that good, it's quite weak. So usually I cannot buy all the heavy stuff all together. means that I may have to make a few rounds of purchase. So with this robot, then I can just uh, you know, select all the things all in one, the one I need, and then put it there and deliver to me. At least when I come down here, I don't have to walk so far away to collect my, my groceries, my purchases. These autonomous robots come with weatherproof compartments and move around with the help of cutting-edge sensors. To ensure public safety, this robot is moving at a walking speed of only 5 kilometers per hour. And if you go in front of it, it will stop and start to avoid you. But for the purposes of this trial, it's also accompanied by a safety officer. The robots will also deliver things bought on e-commerce platforms, which are sent to dispatch hubs. One logistics firm says that means customers can be guaranteed delivery as quickly as 30 minutes. The dispatch hub is within about half a kilometre. So because the shipment is moving closer to the customer, there is a lot of flexibility that we can work with the customer, work with the consumer, so they can choose timing and then we can deliver. This will help us to improve the success rate. Right now, the two robots serve only seven Waterway Woodcrest HDB blocks. Data on how people use them in this trial will help authorities consider if it can be rolled out to other towns. Do you want to go to the shop, choose your goods, uh, and then get the robot to deliver it? Or do you want to just shop online and then have the, it turn up at your doorstep? Uh, what's the, the intensity with which people will engage with this? Uh, is it a once a week thing, once a day thing? Uh, how much do they deliver? So it's the customer experience. In future, these robots could also deliver perishables like food or flowers or even medicine, further closing the last mile gap for more people.